So by now when it comes to lightweight gaming mice that look like they've been attacked by a souped up hole puncher on methamphetamines, you probably think, hmm, I've seen it all. Well, the Drevo Falcon is like, ah, ah, not quite yet. What's good with it? It's your Ken Folk Dookie, back again with Bang. Budget and new gear reviews to help you get the best Bang for your tech dollars. If you like that little montage, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button because if we can get this to 150 likes, then I'm gonna be giving away that mouse to someone who leaves a comment down below. Now I've checked out a few keyboards from Drevo on this channel and I always appreciate their attempts at bringing some of the most popular demands of gamers to their budget range devices. The Falcon RGB is no exception. Here we have a lightweight gaming mouse with the ever so trendy honeycomb design and hands down some of the prettiest lighting I've seen on a mouse in recent history. Holding it in hand, I have to give it to Drevo for its build quality. I can admit, I had no faith and I thought it would fold in my massive hands like a Kimball Slice Street Fight opponent. He needs some milk. The quality of the shell is imperfect. I'm sure the nitpickers can find things to nitpick, I guess. But for me, I like the feel and since I never do any of the weird side squeezing or testing other reviewers do, I'm good. I just, you know, use the mouse like a normal person would. Shots fired! <laughs> I'm just talking mess. But by now, I'm sure you can see that the honeycomb design on the outer shell seems to be mainly focused around aesthetics as there's an inside shell to help showcase the RGB. Now, I don't have a proper scale to weigh it, but the product page puts it at about 70 grams compared to other mice like the Model O, which comes in at 67, and the G-Wolves Heidi, which comes in at 61. In my hand, I can feel the um heftiness but in gaming I honestly couldn't tell any difference on the bottom we seem to have regular feet no specialty skates but with this being a somewhat common shape I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to find some and mod them to your needs I'll say it had no problems with gliding on my desk mat or bare desk now I've said before I've never really analyzed my gaming style so here is some footage of me actually using it so you can see how it fits in my hands now when it comes to gaming, honestly I jumped right in and needed little to no transition time getting right back into multiplayer COD and taking fools out with ease. With the weight and size similar to my Model O which I made for months, I was good to go. The Falcon RGB features the Pixar PMW3389 sensor which is regarded as one of the best and I noticed my accuracy and precision were just as good as ever. Which for me is trash. Now I've mentioned this before, but I feel like Drevo tried to pull a Dame Lillard and shot it from the logo with the RGB on this thing. From the second I plugged it in, I immediately wish I'd kept my really nice RGB setup. This thing looks better than a snow cone in the desert when the lights are shining. Using the Drevo Power Console, you can control all the functions such as DPI, back rows, and editing which buttons do what. Now I'm not the biggest fan of the software, but for a simple task, it gets the job done. Moving into the lighting tab, you have a variety of options. You can set it up how you want it, but the basic RGB wave looks super dope to me, and I'm already thinking about gifting one to my favorite young gamer whose whole setup is RGB to the max. Now, if you're a part of the anti-RGB elitist group and you think all of this is just unicorn vomit, you can not turn it off to suit your more dark side. Also, you can switch the colors on the fly without needing the app. Just press the combination of the middle button and the lower thumb button. Pretty slick. 
Now when it comes to pricing, I think this might be an interesting positioning for Drevo. Not really considered in the custom peripheral space on the same level as other more popular mice, they do offer a nice undercut in price coming in at about 40 bucks US. This is around 20 to 30 dollars cheaper than other more notable lightweight mice, but with the not perfect build quality, somewhat clunky software, and a slightly cheaper feel, is it even worth it? Honestly, like all the other devices from Drevo I've tried, I've actually been quite surprised at how good they are compared to other budget brands. I think the Falcon RGB is a solid offering for someone looking to get their feet wet in upgrading their current gaming mouse to something with a better sensor, lightweight feel, and a little razzle dazzle RGB sprinkled on top. But let me know what do you think? Leave a comment down below about the Falcon RGB, also letting me know what mouse you're currently using. And with that, I'm gonna get up out of here. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy.